Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well um, and that your day is going good. Um, I've been inspired to um, make this video by Spirit. Um, it is concerning a health, um, a health protection item which is, uh, it's, you could call it um, a hand of protection or um, you can make it into a jar of protection. You can have it in um, a cloth bag and carry it for protection, like a small cloth bag and for protection. Um, however, traditionally it is made and with, from herbs, uh, five herbs. And the herbs are placed in a white, um, a white, um, what's it called? A white, a white colored jar or, or a, uh, you could do it in a clear jar as well, um, I believe, with a white top as well, that would work. And uh, if you want to carry it in a cloth bag and then tie it or sew the bag after you put the herbs in, the the color of the cloth you use um should be white okay the most important thing is that you get these five herbs that i'm going to show you um and how exactly to get to to use them and put them in this bag pray on it with whatever you believe in um, it's important that you believe in a text um, uh, or, so, or something or in yourself even if you just want to do it yourself um, or in the universe and so on. Um, ask for protection. Ask for protection from the highest power that is in the universe. Okay? Ask for protection. For me, that is God, but for other people, it could be other things. Um, however, it's important that you hold this item in, in your hand or in your hands um, after you make it and meditate on protection, visualize protection. Okay, so I'll show you the herbs now. I mean, I'll say the names. Um, on the video itself, I'll put a picture of um, a protection that I have made for some of my clients recently um, and I have fortified them with prayer so the, the herbs are coriander seeds that's number one you need to get five seeds five coriander seeds five flax seeds which is flax and then five small pieces of angelica root. Angelica root. I'll write the ingredients in the description. And then five small pieces or, you know, broken up pieces of the, the devil's shoestrings herb. It's called devil's shoestring or shoestrings. And then five small pieces of the golden seal root herb. Ideally, this should be five. It, like I said, we call it a hand of protection. Okay. So, you can, ideally there should be five. The numbers sh are, are not compulsory. Okay. You can use just a pinch of each of these herbs, put them in a white jar, uh, close the lid and now be it. <laughs> okay but it's important for you to pray on it so hold it in both your hands because the prayer actually activates the ingredients okay um, and from my experience when I pray to God with them which is the the uh, entity the most high that I believe in the most and I've lived all my life believing in him and seeing his work and seeing how he um, helped me um, in a very real way um, I decided to do this um, in his name and every time I do it in his name the protection of is bullet is almost bulletproof okay it's very powerful <clears throat> okay so you get these five herbs you put them in 
the white jar then you just close the lid you can put them in a white cloth and and sew the cloth together like two pieces of cloth put the herb in the middle or one cloth and tie it and then just sew it shut it should be shut then you place it in a position that is in the middle of your home okay your flat or home as close to the middle portion as possible okay try not to put it in any corners start <clears throat> try not to put it in any toilets under under any circumstances do not put it in a toilet because toilets are like crossroads they dissipate energy okay if someone's like really cursed or hexed we take them to the toilet to <laughs> to help break it okay or if someone has found an item for example throwing it down the drain if it's not gonna block the drain especially or sometimes some people used to grind it into a powder and pour it down the toilet the toilet takes away energy it sends it out it sends it out and it scatters it okay um you can uh, some people have spiritual baths and so on um that's fine okay but it's just the energy of the toilet is traditionally known as one that dissipates energy unless you intently you know keep the energy within you for example in a bath this stuff work and uh, stuff like that they work good um try not to make an oil okay if you have the essential oils for these things try not to make an oil for health protection with these items the best way to do it even is in the white jar um so no no oils please no perfumes with the essences um no um what do you call it powders uh you know the powders that are spiritual powders that we pray on and use um to affect the energy um no incense okay if they need to be the actual herbs five herbs put them in the jar in a white cloth or just a white container also a note about the container or cloth obviously if it's a cloth it's going to be a pouch if it's a container you can you can you absolutely absolutely um cannot use a square shaped container okay don't use square shaped containers use circular ones okay or oval ones or like jars you know jar is the best thing the jar white jar plastic wood um these are the best i to use glass you can use as well metal you're not allowed to use because metal uh, will keep the energy most of the time within it okay so you need the energy to go everywhere so the wood and uh, and the plastic they will they won't hold the energy because it's like electricity or they won't change it in any way all right so i hope this helps you guys um and just put it in the middle of the home and that's it you know as you're making it ask out loud ask the universe ask god whatever you believe in ask say protect me ask so and so say the names could say the date of birth of dates of birth of people and so on from all harm when it comes to matters of health you can mention specific illnesses you can mention specific issues you can say pandemic you can say epidemic you can say anything any illness okay this this item when you make it and you place it in your home if you don't have a fixed place where you live you can carry it with you in your bags or whatever okay if you travel a lot or, or something like that you can just carry it with you but just make sure the container is plastic or wood okay um you can do this for yourself you can do this for other people now another tip to put to do before you put the herbs in the jar we usually write what's called petitions so what you do is you get a piece of paper you cut it with your hands into a square shape okay with your hands and it preferably should be brown paper okay so we use the ones from the uh shopping bags the brown ones cut it into a square write your the name of the person that you want to protect 
on the paper nine times. Okay, so if you've got the paper in front of you on the table, write the name nine times, turn it 45 degrees clockwise. Okay, because you want this energy, you want it to come to you, the protection to come to you, or to come to the person and be around the person, not go away. Um, and then you, um, after you turn it, uh, for, sorry, I've just been listening to the spirits. They said, yeah, 45 degrees. Write that name again nine times. Okay, once you turn the paper 45 degrees, write the name on top of the name you've, you've already written, which should, which should be, you know, also you've turned the paper 45 degrees, so the writing is going to be from up to down like that in front of you. So make a cross. Write the name within the cross like that, okay? Uh, it will be like a shape of a cross or a mesh of, you know, like a mesh with squares. And then that's, that's the effect that you want to get, okay? And then you write, the, uh, you write protect from all illnesses and harm. You can mention, like I said, specific illnesses by name. Everything that's going around at the moment. And then just... Um, after you do that nine times nine times you fold the paper towards you okay turn it 45 degrees fold again turn it 45 degrees and fold again three times okay and then put it in the bottle with the herbs this step is not compulsory okay uh, it's your intent or intention that matters okay the brain is very powerful it's the brain that does this work with the energies in, in, in the universe um, we have been given this brain as a tool to be able to use it to, to its maximum degree, which is like um, this situation here, especially if you're someone who's powerful mentally or spiritually gifted, you'll be able to lock this protection down on whoever you want to this way. That's it. And then after that, you put the paper in, you close the jar, you sew the paper and uh, you sew the cloth and it has to be white, remember, and put it in the middle of the house. Okay. And that will be it. The paper part is not compulsory, like I said. Okay. I love you guys so much. I hope this has helped you all. Okay. Any questions? Let me know in the comments. Okay. Um, and if you have any like tips or anything like that you've tried anything like this before and it works work for you for you also let me know um please do not add anything else into the, the jar okay because we have throughout the years we've been doing this for like i've been doing it for 27 years but my family have been doing it for generations um, if you, when you um, add crystals or other herbs or things to this jar it affects the energy it doesn't work as good so please don't add anything okay um and that will be it yeah just, uh, let me just ask this please is that everything yeah okay i love you guys so much and i will see you guys in your next video be blessed always and um Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you have a moment. I hope this helps and protects you from all um, illnesses and all harm. Please remember to take care of yourself and be careful. Um, in our visions, in my predictions, I have seen all of, about these new things that are coming out and even more coming out that's going to be coming in the future. So it's a very good, good idea to do this kind of thing, okay? There are going to be like a set of different, probably, um, you know, um, like plagues or whatever you want to call them. And they're going to come successively. Okay, so you've got to uh, be protected. But also, like I always say, please don't rely on these things 100%. We have also been given free will to do our part. Spiritual stuff will only do half the work. The other half is up to us and our free will. The more you believe in this item, the more the herbs and the item will respect you and protect you. Disbelief and ignorance and disregard. I'm not saying anybody is, but I've noticed that when people don't believe in these things, um, 
and they don't work for them in a positive way. Okay, so don't do it if you don't believe. If you believe, do it. If you don't believe, leave it alone. Okay, all right. I love you all very much, and I will see you guys in the next, uh, in your next reading. Okay, <laughs> let's say reading. Okay, all right. Yeah, then see you, see you soon, you guys. Be blessed. Or in your next uh, video, let's say yeah. See you guys soon.